guys. So from my head here, you probably can guess what our video is about today. And today, yes, we're making bows. There are a lot of videos here on YouTube that teach you how to make bows. I basically just wash them, combine all kinds, and make it into this video. So if you want to know how to make bows like this, 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 just keep on watching. To make this little bow for hair clip, you need two pieces of cloth, one bigger, one smaller, some glue, and a hair clip. I'm using the glue called UHU because I grew up using it for all my handcraft projects and it sticks very well. You can also use glue gun if you have it. So first, take the bigger piece of cloth, flip it over and fold it up twice. Make sure that the cloths are overlapping each other like this. And now, glue them together, then press it. Next, fold them from the left and the right. Again, make sure that they're overlapping each other, then glue them. And this is how big your bow will be. Now, let's set it aside and take out the small piece of cloth because we're going to work on the strap thingy that wraps around the middle of the bow. And same thing, fold up, fold down, glue, and press. Now it's time to assemble. Get the bow body out, the overlap side up, Pinch it to form a bow shape and wrap the strap thingy over and glue. If you find the strap is too long, just trim it off. And remember to have the overlap part hiding in the back. Then hold it until the glue sets. Lastly, take out your hair clip and glue it together with the bow. Press and hold them together and that's it. So cute, right? The second one we're making is bow on an elastic band. Very very simple and you will only need two pieces of cloth, an elastic band, and some glue. So just flip it over, fold up, put glue on, fold down to stick them together. Then fold from the left, add glue, fold from the right, and press. Then let's make the middle strap. Again, just fold up, add glue, and fold down. Now get the middle strap and wrap around the bow together with the elastic band like this. Then glue the ends together and that's it! Pretty cool, huh? So the previous two bows are quite similar and now we're gonna move on and make headband style bow. So to make this big bow elastic headband, we'll use one big piece of cloth that has more of a flowy and light texture some pearl beads, a long elastic, thread and needle, and glue. Let's start making the bow first. Basically the same way as the previous bows, so I'm just gonna fast forward it here. Okay, so now we set the bow piece aside, get the long elastic out, and tie a dead knot. Cause this elastic will go on your head, so you wanna make sure that the length will fit your head size. Then we'll thread the needle, get the pearl pieces out, and pinch the bow. And then get the needle through to set the pinch part. Just go back and forth a few times to make it more secure. And next, thread the bow and the elastic band together. Make sure that the knot is hiding in the back to make it more professional. And in this part, the needle could be a little bit hard to get through, so be careful, okay? Don't hurt yourself. Now we should get the pearl pieces onto the thread. Just use enough until it covers the pinched part in front. And I use 5 pearl beads here by the way. And then lastly, continue to thread through the elastic a few more times so they are sticking to each other firmly. And here's the finished big bow headband. What do you think? If you prefer the traditional headband style more, you can make one by using a cloth, two lace trims, some yeshu glue, and a headband frame. And now, let's use the long lace trim to wrap around the headband frame. Just put some glue on and wrap around, then cut off the excess lace. And then, get the cloth to make a bow. 
which I think you should be now very familiar with. So I'm gonna fast forward it. I hope it's okay for you. And now pinch the bow and wrap the short piece of the lace trim around. And lastly, guess what? Just glue the bow onto wherever you want onto the headband. That's it. Very simple, right? The last one we're making is the very cute bunny ear scrunchies, which I wore in my air cushion foundation video. If you haven't watched it, be sure to check it out. Anyways, to make the cute bunny ear scrunchies, you will need a bigger piece of cloth, a long piece of cloth, an elastic strap that is long enough to wrap around your head comfortably, and a sewing machine. First, let's work on the headband loop. Take out the long piece of cloth, fold it over, then sew it together to form a tube for the elastic strap to go through. Make sure the tube is wide enough for your elastic strap though. Then, patiently flip the inside out. This step took me quite a while, and yay, finally done! Whew. Now let's get the elastic strap through. It will make it a lot easier if you attach a safety pin onto the elastic strap. Pull up the tube little by little to create the crinkle cut effect. That's just how I call it, huh? Now let's sew the ends of the elastic together. And after that, tuck the tube ends into each other and then sew them connected, okay? Now it's time for the cute bunny ears. Take the big piece of cloth out, fold it twice like so. Then imagine that you are drawing half of a fish like this and cut it out and you will get a bow shape like this then fold it in half and guess what? Sew again. Be sure to mark down where you should leave a small gap in the middle of the bunny ears so that you can flip the bunny ears inside out from the gap. Turn it inside out. You can use a pen to help stick the edges out and then sew the gap closed. And finally, tie the bunny ears onto the headband. Pull a little to make it shape better. And that's it! Super cute, right? If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye! God, I can't believe that. So now I'm gonna finish the other shoe and I'll see you in a little bit.